Alrighty, so this is a Phantom Thunder, and it's one of the newer models of Phantom Thunder. Um, I got this as an estate sale last year, and it came with a box. Now this is actually a refurbished model, which is why it says on the box refurbished vacuum. So when they did that, they changed a couple of things, um, notably um, this cyclone. They replaced the silver cyclone with a black cyclone. Um, some, just from my observations, I noticed over the years that the silver ones tend to be easier to break than uh, the black ones. So, what I did is, it's very hard to find, well, newer Phantom Thunders with the silver cyclone assembly are harder to find. So what I did was I just basically took some spray paint and took the whole cyclone apart, cleaned everything, and then I spray painted this to it because I wanted to make it look more authentic because this model had, was supposed to have the plastic, um, silver plastic shroud. So I changed that. This is a new old stock Phantom Thunder dustbin. So I'm going to try to keep that also clean and nice so um, that it's not going to see very much use. Um, and it has a brand new, new old stock HEPA filter that I've used. Oh, I guess this whole thing is going to go off. This is a, um, not genuine, this is an end dust Phantom Thunder HEPA filter, but it's a new HEPA filter and I think I've used this maybe once or twice with the machine. But you can see this is the optional pet hair tool and it fits on the back. Super, super awkward um, design with that, how they placed these. Um, so I'll put this back on. And these vacuums clean very well. Um, they don't filter that well because um, this vacuum wasn't made to filter well because these when this design first came out as yeah, the commercial Johnson Vectron back in the late late 1980s they weren't really thinking about filtration they were just thinking mainly about efficiency so but this vacuum was made in 2000 so it's one of the later models of Phantom Thunder. Um, but it's in decent shape. It's not the nicest one I've ever come across. It's got a couple of scratches up here. Um, but it's not the worst I've seen. Like I said, I got this as an estate sale and I kind of overpaid for it because of the fact that it came with the box. I couldn't resist it because of that. I have the owner's manual right here as, as well as the how-to video. This is unusual. This is a 20 foot extension hose. Usually I see the 10 feet ones. Um, how useful that is, I don't know. I would guess not very because this vacuum doesn't have a whole lot of suction through the hose. So I'm not sure what they were thinking with that. Um, and this is the, I just got this. This is the optional extra handle grip makes it actually very awkward to use so I don't plan on using it plus it's the only one I have so I don't want to break it but it attaches to the top of the handle right here so it just it doesn't really make any sense at all never seen anything like that on any other vacuum so I'm not quite sure what they were thinking with that but putting that aside it's still a very good vacuum like I said these vacuums clean carpet very well they have a lamb motor, dual stage lamb motor in them. Um, and with proper maintenance, these actually are very reliable vacuum cleaners for considering if it's a phantom. Um, so, we'll give it a quick run. I just vacuumed this with my phantom, which is a bit older than this one. So, probably shouldn't be pulling up too much. We'll see. We'll see what it does. Can't wait. Gonna keep running into that, I guess. <laughs>
that crap that was on the side of the vacuum, that was just some plastic polish that I had put on this machine. And I would forgotten to clean it all off. So that's what that big white streak was that I just kind of brushed off. So this is a manual. Registration form is still there. Nobody ever seems to fill those out. Information about the HEPA filter. Information about the warranty. Congratulations on purchasing your Phantom Thunder. Assembly directions. Operation directions. Maintenance. Interesting. They never changed the graphics from the original Phantom Owner's Manual. Notice that there is no HEPA filter on these pages. That's very interesting. Um, maintenance. Changing the belt. So this was added to um, Phantom Thunders because the original Phantom HEPA filter was optional. How to video. How to use your Phantom Thunder which is the same owner's manual they used for the original Phantom. So this is the, let's see, this is the handle grip accessory. Um, it's not for this model. I'm pretty sure this is for an, an older Thunder than this one, but it fits. I'm not going to put it in all the way, but it fits right here, and it really makes the vacuum very awkward to use. So like I said, I'm not sure what they were thinking there. This is the 20 foot extension hose, which I did not know existed. It's ridiculously long, but I can't imagine this would work well with a Phantom because of the fact that there really isn't very much suction through the hose on these. This is the box, Phantom Thunder refurbished vacuum. You can just take a quick glance at that. This is an older model Phantom Thunder that they used in this picture. Um, this is a newer model, but this is the original box. Um, at least the box that the refurbished vacuum cleaner came in. Um, so you can see it has information about the HEPA filter. I just thought this would be interesting for people to see because you rarely find these with a box. And that's exactly why I got it. Otherwise, I would not have paid what I paid for this had it not had the box. But, so, that is the Phantom Thunder. Hope you enjoyed the video.